So I, as a dancer, as a young dancer, came to the DC area in, uh, in the mid 1980s and performed wherever I could in the early days. It was, um, opportunities were rare, but the opportunities that I got were amazing. Very few people knew what Indian dance even was. And that's how the environment was when I came in the 80s. Uh, so I took to teaching pretty early on. I incorporated Kalanidhi dance as a, as a school initially in 1991. And I started with just six little girls and it's grown since then. Today we have a, a performance company as well because the dance students that grew up and studied dance became excellent dancers. And so with the dancers, we created a, a company, a dance company in 2005. And that's the performance company that we are with today. The performance company has had a lot of success in presenting at various venues in the DC area, as well as in New York. Anything, anything can inspire an artist, I feel. It could be a melody that is inspiring. It could be a poem that has a very beautiful emotions within the poem that resonates and one wants to create a work around it. It could be an idea or a concept, like climate change meant a lot to me and so we created Bhumi. Uh, Rasa was exploring emotions, human emotions, so that resonates. In the COVID period, how do we keep our creative juices going? How do we continue to perform? And so we've been fortunate to have the summer. So we had an outdoor venue available to us, which was less dangerous to create work and to perform. And so we have curated year long uh, solo dance performances. So we're going to be spotlighting each of our company dances once a month. We're calling it Seasons with Kalanidhi. And so every season we have three, three dancers who will be presenting a solo performance, showcasing our company dancers. The Line Hotel was built by Andrew Zobler of Sedell. He came to Washington, D.C. The building had been abandoned for about 35 years. He saw it, he fell in love with it and over the course of four years, a hotel was built. And we have 220 rooms and three restaurants. The hotel was built with three aims, to look after guests coming to Washington, D.C., to obviously look after the staff and create employment within the community of Adams Morgan and Washington, D.C., which we're passionate about, and also create a and a place for the community. So uh, I was awarded the Pola Nirenska Award earlier this year in June by Washington Performing Arts. And of course it came out of the blue. I had absolutely no idea. And I accepted it on behalf of my organization, even though they said it was for me, but I don't think I could accept it without acknowledging the contribution of the students, the dancers, and my collaborators. And I'm deeply humbled, honored to have received this award, and I thank Washington Performing Arts for it. I mean, Washington Performing Arts has been such a visible presence in the performing arts arena in DC. And for them to have chosen Kalanidhi Dance, to chosen us as uh, to, to be spotlighted in their um, latest initiative means a lot. It makes us feel included in the, in the mainstream dance uh, scene of DC, which is one of Kalanidhi Dance's missions. Our mission and our vision for Kalanidhi and for Kuchipudi, which is what we do, is to be and become one, one of the dance forms that is prevalent and available to the mainstream audiences here and in the rest of the country. I'm very thankful to Washington Performing Arts for having thought of us and having given us this opportunity to be featured. Washington Performing Arts is, is a very important part of the DC culture. 
and we recognize that and anything that we can do to to support them to be a partner with them to make the hotel available to them is we feel incredibly important hopefully we'll perpetuate with other businesses and perpetuate in the culture of dc washington will come back it it will roar back it's going through a very dark period at the moment but Washington is a great city with incredible potential. And it, if it's a small business, if it's a big business, just hang in there. Don't let this period get to you. I would like to thank Washington Performing Arts for all of the hard work, all of the culture you bring to Washington, D.C., and to the joy that you bring us and the inspiration. Washington Performing Arts is an incredibly important part of D.C. The question that I asked my dancers was, why do they dance? And they came up with four answers. They said it was their link to their heritage, storytelling, they love the, the tool that Kuchipudi offers to tell stories. They love the feeling of freedom and liberation when they dance because they don't have to think or worry about the problems in the world. Finally, the community. Community within themselves, the community that they interact with and the communities that they've become a part of through our collaborations. And so the piece that they're performing today is an excerpt of the community aspect celebrate being together and dancing together, which in these pandemic times seems especially special.